Hey everybody, I'm John Rourke, Editor-in-Chief of Phoenix Home and Garden Magazine. We're here at the Arizona Fine Art Expo, which is running through March 26th. Um, this is a great place to come, whether you are a collector, or whether you're just starting to explore the world of fine art, or if you just like to see beautiful artwork and see artists at work. There's 120 artist working studios uh, at the Expo, and this is its 19th year, I believe. So we are here right now with Lauren Node. Hello, Lauren. Oh. And you are a you work primarily in uh, oil. oils. We were just talking a little bit about you had dabbled in pastels, but now you're you're almost strictly oils. You are you are from Arizona. Or you live in Arizona now. Actually, I'm from Oregon. Okay. Originally, I moved here in 2003. Okay. And after and actually, my very first out of state show when I was living in Oregon was Prescott. Okay. I came down to Arizona and kind of fell in love with the area, mm -hmm. and then continued to do uh, Thunderbird mm -hmm. shows with uh, Judy and Dennis. And how long? How many years have you been in this expo? Every year it's been open. That's fantastic. Yeah. Every, and it is every 18 years. Okay, and it is a juried show, so it's not like it you is. just walk in the door no, and that's you so you have to be invited. So that's that that says a lot. Right. So yeah, and so you have a lot of southwestern inspired pieces mm -hmm. here. So what is it about the the desert here that speaks to you as an artist? Oh, I think just the light, mm -hmm. the light here. Well, you can imagine living in Portland all my life. <coughs> and right, then, right. And as I started doing art shows in the West, I would travel to different places. And there was something about Arizona that absolutely captured my heart. Mm -hmm. And I moved here in 2003. Okay. Yeah. And so you, your work, you've got like some, some fairly close up mm -hmm. uh, florals, and then you've got I some love, landscapes I where love you're doing pulling. Both. Yeah, that was my next yeah. question. I love it. I love, you know, and the. <laughs> blooms of cacti they mm. are so luminescent and yeah just the radiant. desert in the like in the early morning and the evening or yeah, after a rain and, you know there's yeah, just it's perfect yeah it's exactly perfect. so talk about some of these pieces like um, uh, let's talk about this one do you remember where this was yes this was a uh, actually this is a <clears throat> this is uh, was a commission okay and the couple lived up a desert mountain, so we're looking at Black Mountain and kind of looking southwest. Just beautiful. Desert mountain. Right. Okay, and then a piece like this, which is what about four this, by this three is, or something? This one is forty, I think forty-two by sixty. Okay, and uh, about how long would a piece like that take you to complete? It, a piece like that takes me about three months. Okay, and are you working on one piece at a time, yes. or do you have different pieces? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, which I, I can't do that multitasking. That's like reading something. three books at one time. I can't. I can't do that and either. And once I once I get pulled <laughs> into an image, it's like I can't. I can't uh, change direction. And, right. Or my so, like, you couldn't be working on this and then a close up at the same time. Yeah, I think no, you, you no, that, yeah, no. that would not be good for your head. Yeah. I wouldn't think. I don't know. Some people can do it beautifully. Sure. For me, it's, it's just, just it's, it's a lot harder. Okay. Tell us about some of your other pieces. Do you have a favorite here, or or oh, uh, any with a with a story that you'd like to share? Like the the colors in this one. So this is almost photographic. Um, especially, and I, I hope that's a compliment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not that you, not that you paint photorealism per se, but it's there's so much detail and so much depth from these darks down here, and then just that that color of the the sunset, the Arizona sunset, I guess which I'm just, I definitely I'm captured. enchanted with the desert. I really am, and <clears throat> and it was so amazing when I lived in when I lived in Portland. All the tall fir trees, the mountains, everything was blocking the sky. Oh, right, <laughs> and that was right, one of right. the things that was so wonderful about moving here. I could just see Why, the vastness spaces. of the sky. Right. And after about a year of living here, all those gorgeous sunsets, I thought, that's what I have to paint. Okay. Yeah. So was it hard to, like, just as an artist, when you decide, I'm going to do these sunsets, to me, the, the idea of, well, something this scope is very intimidating for me to even imagine well, it still is. It still but is <laughs> something like like clouds are th th I would think that would be tricky to, to be able to capture but as an artist is that just something like this is what I see this is what I paint well I think I kind of learned okay 
along the way how to do it and I realized that <clears throat> because of the atmospheric quality exactly uh, working with really thin glazes of color mm -hmm. worked best for me and okay. I would lay in one layer and then lightly put a second layer and a third layer okay. and a fourth layer and just let those colors kind of show through right. all the layers yeah, yeah it's just so so luminous there's one uh, behind us over here with this everything from like a really intense turquoise like you've got the all the right, all the reds right, and oranges right, here and then all right. the blues just, I loved working yeah. on this piece well you can tell I love color period exactly <laughs> but this is really the first kind of cumulus nimbus cloud formation okay. I did and really? I loved working on yeah, it's just, just gorgeous loved it. yeah. yeah so talk about this one that's behind me which just give, <laughs> it makes me antsy just at the thought of you even <laughs> attempting something this well, ridiculously the story behind this, now this <laughs> it's is, beautiful this is a reproduction okay <clears throat> But the story behind this is <clears throat> Salt River Project. Mm -hmm. They commissioned me to do two paintings. And I had a definite deadline. <clears throat> and, and one of them was this? One of them was this. And I'll tell you, I, I, was, I was so scared I wasn't going to meet the <laughs> deadline. Because once I got involved in it, I mean, you can see all the details. Mm -hmm. And it's easy to kind of lose your place. Of course, right. And you were, one of the questions I wanted to ask you, do you generally work from photographs or from real life or a combination of both? I work from uh, photographs that I take okay. myself, I personally take. But <clears throat> believe it or not, as much detail as you're seeing here, mm -hmm. I edited out a lot of the detail. In okay. fact, <clears throat> the clients were, were looking at another idea and and we were initially going to just primarily do these rocks but do them large <laughs> they selected this scene and whose idea was and it to pull they, back and then they said well we think we'd like something different and then i proposed this so you and, then, and then so they, it's your own and then, fault and then they said but we <laughs> like the rocks too <laughs> so oh so is it a composite of more than one composite. image oh that's yes. interesting yeah it's a composite Okay. Yeah. That I uh, hats off. I mean, on everything. But that was the one where it caught my eye. Where I was like, I don't even know how. Like I you know. said, how easy is it to get lost? It, it very easy. Yeah. <laughs> very easy. Yeah. yeah exactly. Sure. But it, I mean, it totally creates that feeling of like running water and uh, yeah. Oh, I'm glad. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I was really <laughs> pleased with, and I met the deadline too. Oh, so okay. So all yeah. in all, yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, are there, are there, um, I don't think I asked you this already, but do you have a favorite subject matter? Or are you, it's, it's just, I mean, it's, it's all I, nature I like based, variety. obviously. I okay. like variety. And, but, but you can kind of notice I love doing large skies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. that, That's I where you really it, shine. If it doesn't have <laughs> a large sky with, lots of light bouncing back and forth mm -hmm. it, it doesn't interest me and then this one down here i had never done a kind of a monochrome palette <coughs> and it was so different for me but one night when i was leaving uh the show mm. and i went went to get to you know in my car this, that's what that i that was saw. happening that was happening yeah. and i went oh my gosh i love that i have to paint it yeah, fantastic. And you had to paint it big. Yeah, well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I know, everybody says, your canvases are bigger than you are. What is it? What's the yeah, that's a, <laughs> They are bigger than you are. So the, uh, this one right over here uh -huh. is another one with that, that sweeping vista. It's, it's almost like the, that we're seeing the Southwest as it could have been and probably was, you know, a thousand years ago or something like well, that. Well, isn't know? it wonderful? It's I was, timeless. I was on the, uh, I think I was on the, let's see, the east side of Pinnacle Peak. Okay. And of course there are houses there. Right. So you see, uh, as an artist, you can eliminate and put in what you want. Ah, and, okay. And so that's, that's what that. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And what kind of clients are attracted to your work? Is there a, is there a... Interesting question. Interesting it, question. I mean, do you have re, 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 uh, collectors I, or do I you was, have... Oh, yes. Or, I do. or is there a... We were talking with another artist earlier and he said for some reason Chicagoans are drawn to his work. Oh, so, interesting. yeah. I, interesting. And he couldn't really explain no, that. I, I was just I, curious. My clients are from all over the U.S., but okay. I would say that basically 
they're kind of my peers, mm -hmm. my age group. Okay. That tend to be the buyers. Oh, interesting. Of my okay. Work. Yeah. All right. And what's the largest piece you've done? Good question. Let me think. What's the largest? I've done a triptych. Okay. That was. Um, I couldn't tell you exactly the size, okay. but, but the vertical measurement was quite a bit bigger, and, and, and so that was probably the largest commission I've ever had. Okay, and as far as commissions go, someone comes to you, do you, you what, what kind of, how, how does that work? Do they come to you and say, this is our oh, backyard, or, or we want a, 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 a vista, and these are the colors of our interior, how, I, I'm, well, I'm totally, I, I totally ignorant yeah, of I totally how this works. Typically, I will go visit their home, okay, <clears throat> and then I will take photos, okay, and then I, I get a sense of, of kind of what they want, the space where they want it, and then we will we will email back and forth. I will send them photos. They will recommend photos, okay. and then we kind of pull all those ideas together. Uh, okay, <coughs> and then how in how how much are they seeing during the process? It depends upon the client. Okay, some clients trust my work so much they don't request a photo. Right. Other other clients they they kind of like to see the progression. Okay, and yeah. do you have a preference yeah. either way? really you know <laughs> I guess I guess I'm fortunate in that in it most hasn't cases, in most cases they they end up loving it well I would yeah how could they not it hasn't seriously been an issue okay yeah okay but I, we do a lot of communicating so I'm quite you know quite certain of the direction that okay that's want before I start well thank you so much for your well, time thank you. Lauren node is here at the Arizona Fine Art Expo uh, through March 26th uh, open every day from 10 to 6. You can get tickets at ArizonaFineArtExpo.com and um, come and see the artwork. Come and meet the artists. Come see the artists working on their pieces. 